Hello, it's Peter here again from Writer's Life. And today, how to write simply but effectively. Whatever kind of writing you're working on, one of the most common mistakes is trying too hard and making it overly complicated. This is true whether you're writing a blog or a novel. Many writers can get so caught up in wanting to come across as impressive or intelligent that they forget that some of the most influential writing is not full of ridiculously long and complicated words or overly convoluted sentences. Instead, there's a great beauty to be found in simplicity and often the most uncomplicated writing has the most significant effect. Writing simply but effectively is an important quality for any writer. Remember, you always have a finite number of words to write with and therefore should make each and every one of them count. By being too flowery with your language, by being painstakingly detailed with your descriptions, by using language that your readers will struggle to understand, you are isolating them rather than drawing them in. While a reader may be able to forgive this once or twice if your prose is littered with such errors, they will soon lose interest in what you have to say and eventually give up altogether. So, how can you reassess your writing to ensure that you are keeping it simple and therefore delivering the greatest impact? Here are some useful tips. Be factual and direct. In journalistic writing, one of the most common pieces of advice given is to ensure you cover all the facts. You can do so by asking yourself the five W's, who, what, when, where and why. There's no reason why you can't apply this to your fiction writing too. When you're trying to set the scene, establish a new character or relay to the reader exactly what is happening when using these questions can help you ensure that you have all your bases covered. Build pictures. For your reader to enjoy your writing, they want to be immersed in what they are reading. And to do so, they need to be able to build pictures in their mind's eye. You don't need to over-explain what's going on. Instead, use simple but effective detailing to create images. Do this by appealing to the five senses, sight, sound, smell, touch and taste. Ensure your language is precise and the descriptions you use are sharp and effective without going overboard. Inspire an emotional response. In order for your writing to be effective, you need to create emotion in your reader. Try to picture your ideal reader. What kind of person are they? What do they want or need? What are they afraid of, excited or intrigued by? The better you understand your reader, the easier it will be to direct them to feel a certain way about what you've written. If you can get your readers to invest in your story emotionally, you'll have them hooked. Think about beginnings and endings. While your overall piece should have an enormous impact on your reader, it is also essential to break it down further. Pay attention to how you open and close each chapter, then go deeper and examine how you start and finish each paragraph. Simple, effective writing takes a lot of work, but the more time you spend refining your writing, the better it will be and the greater impression it will have. So just keep practicing. Take your time and use the strategies that we've already mentioned and you'll soon see what a difference it makes to your writing and how much more powerful and effective it can be. Struggling to write or finish your book? Our free writer's toolkit can help. With it, you'll learn how to overcome procrastination, get organized, stay focused, find time to write, and finally get your book published. 
To get access now while it's still available, simply go to writerslife.org forward slash toolkit. That's it for now. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more. And I'll see you next time.